Hey friends, it's Sonya from Junk Monkey Paint Company. I'm getting ready for another cool flip today. I found this old, really old painted wood tray at my local Goodwill, and today I'm gonna make it fabulous. So uh, of course I'm breaking out my chalky style paints. I've got my antique lace going right now. You've also seen me show you the black velvet. That's the other color I'm gonna use. And I'm choosing to use antique lace instead of a vintage white today because I want this to be really whimsical and really fun, kind of like Alice in wonderland -y kind of feel, very whimsical. But I also want it to feel rustic and worn and just kind of like have a cozy feel to it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm using my shabby chip brush and I'm putting on one layer and I'm happy with that. So no, those aren't bangles. Those are all my painter's tape, all the collection that I have right now, different sizes. And so I picked one that I wanted the stripes to be the right size for me, right? And so make sure you're using painter's tape tape because not all tape is created the same and when you pull it up you do, you do not want it to take your actual painted surface with it so make sure you get some painters type tapes so I put that down and uh, no I did measure it you could if you want to but um, I'm an imperfectly perfect kind of lover so I just kind of much eyeballed up the stripes and put them down and now I'm taking that black velvet and I'm filling in all those spaces okay so you see what I'm doing here I'm making sure that I didn't miss any areas getting all the edges and the bottom is where we're gonna have some really cool stripes in just a moment ta-da like how cool is that and with my uh, Chevy chip brush I got that real rustic look right a little peekaboos of the color below it also comes through now I'm doing a little bit of distressing right there with my sand pad a medium grit sand pad and now it's time to seal. Seal that sucker up and now I can get to use it. This is a really cool tray. I could use it on top of furniture. I could use it like on maybe on stage it on top of a coffee table. Use it for decor on a mantle at the end of the day, as long as it's sealed like you see me doing here right now with my buffing cloth. I can even serve s'mores on it and serve breakfast in bed. It's totally up to you.